on uh, June 10th, I was not feeling good. I have in my diverticulitis symptoms start acting up. The next day I went to work and my symptoms weren't going away, so I asked to go home and go to the doctor. So I went to the doctor and she sent me to ER, Unity Point. And the next morning I met Dr. Shoeboss. He looked over all my labs and CAT scans and recommended I should have surgery and get some of my colon removed because I had a tear in it. And he also seen a hernia in my CAT scan, so he uh, was going to take care of my hernia too. Sue had uh, come to me with uh, repeated episodes of diverticulitis. Uh, uh, she was having constant pain and uh, after taking multiple courses of antibiotics, since her symptoms did not get better, we had a long discussion and decided to proceed with surgery to take her diseased colon out. It was kind of unbelievable that, you know, you think how in just a little time how that can get that bad. Uh, I was able to do this surgery with a laparoscopic technique. Uh, the surgery went smooth. Uh, she had a good uh, post-operative period. She stayed in the hospital for two days and she was able to go home on day two. Diverticular disease is very common in, the, in North America. Uh, they say almost 50% prevalence rate for people more than 40 years of age compared to only 0.5% uh, prevalence in Asia and African continent. Now I feel great and with the help of Dr. Shubas, I kind of learned some things that I should be doing. With the help of him, I got back to feeling better and I recommend him to everybody and the staff at St. Luke's was all great. The reason why it's more prevalent here in uh, North America is because of the diet. There's a lot of uh, people taking refined sugars, less fiber and more red meat. So my advice for people would be to take more fiber in their diet and to avoid getting constipated. If there is more bulk to the stool and they're not constipated, the chances of developing diverticular disease is less.